everyone and welcome to another Armour 3 Editor tutorial for you. This one's in response to a question from Division Lincoln who asked is there a way to set custom loadouts in enemies uh, or do I have to create new class names with something like the Alive Orbat? Well what this is is this is a tutorial on the redress script by JShock. This has been around for a fair while. Um, I have used it in a few of my missions. Uh, and what it does is it redresses any enemies in the map um, to have whatever uniform and equipment you decide that you want them to have. So we'll get straight into this. So obviously, firstly, we need a playable unit. What I've also done is I've placed down some enemy units. Now, you'll note what these guys are wearing at the moment is um, their Takistani army uh, guys and you'll notice the uniforms and weapons that they have at the moment so I'll show you how this works um, to redress these guys so although you've placed them with this equipment this is not the equipment they will have when the mission loads so you'll see these guys uh, although I placed them as Takistani army units have loaded in with the predefined loadouts that I've decided I want them to use in the redress script. You'll also notice that I have uh, enemies that spawn in as well and you'll see they've spawned as Takistani militia but as they spawn in, they are redressed into the uniforms that you have decided you want them to wear, including the weapons, the uniforms, the vest, backpack, and headgear. There's some more guys that have just changed from Takistani militia to these guys with shamags on their head, etc. Uh, this is a little bit of messing around. And there's some more Takistani guys that have just spawned in. And they have just changed. And you'll see this guy here is about to change. There we go. So I'll show you how that is achieved. So the first thing you have to do, obviously, is place a playable unit. And we're going to then, as soon as the playable unit is uh, placed down, go to Scenario, Save As, and then save the mission to whatever name you want to save it as I've put redress script okay now that we've created a folder uh, for the mission we're going to go and edit some files in there and I'll explain how we do that so here is our mission folder so you can find that in this PC main disk or whatever disk your armor is installed on uses your name documents armor 3 upper profiles your playing name MP missions and then you can have a subfolder which I have and then the mission is called redressed script. In here we have the mission SQM as always that you do not need to play with or touch but we've got an init.sqf and a description.ext. We also have a folder which is called jshk underscore redress. Firstly let's have a look at the init.sqf file. Okay, these are just um, extra things that I've put in there that you don't need to use for this. So we have two lines in here. The first one here being null equals east true false exec vm jshk underscore redress, which is the folder the script is in. And then redress init.sqf is the name of the script file. Uh, this second section down here, as the description here says, for continuous checking to redress any spawned units. So having this line in here will also redress any spawned units. So you saw in the um, in game that placed units are redressed, and you also saw that units that were spawned in also were redressed. Um, and having these lines in your init.sqf uh, will enable that for you. I will place uh, a paste bin link in the description uh, for you to grab 
basically what's in this init.sqf file. Um, again, if we haven't you haven't seen my tutorials before, if you're not sure how to create one, we just go to right click new down to text document and then we just change the extension to an SQF and whatever name you want to give the file and there we go. Uh, we need to make sure view and file name extensions in Windows 10 is selected. The next file we're going to have a look at is the description.ext and that's created in the same way by right clicking creating a text document or a text file and renaming the extension to .ext. Now all this stuff up here is just stuff uh, related to the actual mission um, but the most important thing here is this section here which is class config functions and we need to have the line as it says here hash include jshk underscore redress forward slash functions dot hpp uh, and that will enable the script to work so what we'll do now is have a look at uh, let's go back to the folder and we'll go into the uh, jshk redress script folder now the one we want to have a look at or the one you need to edit is the redress init.sqf so um, there's a bit of stuff up here that you can have a look at pretty much the file that I share with you you won't need to really change um, unless you want to change the side that you're redressing because this works for um, east obviously as well as west civilian and independent just depends what you're using in your mission so that's where you would change those there and it has a facility to use special units um, I believe what that does is it excludes them from being redressed so um, if you're using uh, special units uh, you would put the class names of those special units down in here okay um, you also have a section here to individual unit exclude so if you wanted to have a particular um, playable unit or even an AI unit that you wanted to exclude from this redress script you would put their variable name um, in there okay but I'm not using that at the moment uh, you can also put a group name in here to exclude so if you had a group name either placed or spawned um, via whatever script you would put the group name into group unit exclude and that will exclude that group you can add additional um, variable names in there just make sure they've got a comma in between them except for the last one which just has a close bracket but I'm uh, going to put just s1 as a unit to exclude so that it won't redress me. So provided you have the init.sqf set up as I have here, the description to ensure that the class config functions um, is in there and you've changed those things uh, just here, that should work the next thing you need to have a look at is the weapon ARR which is the weapon array now here is where you put the class names of the weapons that you want the redressed uh, guys to have so you'll notice in the mission I had them all spawning with the um, Zafia MG as well as a standard sort of um, FIA weapon I can't remember the class name of it uh, there it is there um, RE or A rifle mark 20 underscore F so that's where you put the class names of the main weapons that you want them to have and here is where you put uh, under JSHK uniform AAR which is the array 
is the actual names of the uniforms that you want them to have. And the very good people over at uh, Bohemia Interactive have provided a page that has the class names of all the uniforms that you can use uh, from the various factions in the game. If you want to use uh, uniforms from a particular mod, uh, then you're probably going to go and have to Google uh, those class names. For example, if you're using the RHS mod and you want the uniform class names, then you're going to have to um, go searching for those ones. Um, what I will do is um, I'll copy one of these class names to show you how it works is uh, oh that'll stand out let's take a ghillie suit I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to put it into the uniform array by pressing control V uh, you'll see I have heli pilot coveralls and I have some gorilla uniforms here as well so as they spawn in um, some of them will have a ghillie suit, some will have pilot coveralls, and others will have guerrilla uniforms. Um, so what we'll do is we'll save this file, and we'll go back into the mission and we'll have a look. And it will show you that the uniforms that they spawn with have changed. Okay, you'll see these guys swim for a second. That's just what they do when they're being redressed. And you'll see that my uniform hasn't changed because I've excluded myself from the redressed script by using a variable name. And if you remember, I added a, um, a ghillie suit. And there's a guy with a ghillie suit. Okay. So pretty much that is how this works. Uh, you decide on the uniform class name. You decide on the weapon. You'll see that they've all got these MGs as well as these... Um, a rifles um, and all of the guys that spawn in or all of the units you place on the east side because that's what we've specified in the script will be redressed into whatever you decide so what I'll do is I will place um, the redress script by JShock uh, as a downloadable link for you in the description below I'll also place uh, a couple of description.ext, uh, oh, sorry, a description.ext uh, paste bin and a init.sqf paste bin link in the description, uh, provided you put those into your mission folder along with the JSHK redress script. Uh, and remember that redress init. Dot .sqf is the one where you need to go and change the variable names of the weapons, uh, the uniforms, you can also change the vests, the headgear, uh, goggles if you want them to have particular eyewear, and also the backpacks. Okay, um, this has been a little bit of mucking around with scripts um, and having to edit bits and pieces. If you are confused or not sure, please do let me know and I'll see if I can uh, answer your questions. But that is essentially how you use the redress script. It basically applies a new uniform and all the other gear that you specify in that script to any placed units or any units that spawn in after the mission starts. And as I explained, you can exclude particular players by variable name or particular groups by variable name variable name so division lincoln thank you very much for the question i hope that answers it um, if you do have any uh, further questions or you're not sure about what i did uh, or how i did it uh, please let me know if you've enjoyed this content please give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to get notifications of any future videos um, 
I am working through a lot of questions at the moment and trying to get uh, tutorials done to answer them. So please be patient if you don't see yours answered any time in the next week or two or maybe a little bit more. Um, I am getting to them. I uh, really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.